a car this age doesn't have a lot of electronics that are that are supposed to be drawing anything so normally we like to see maybe around 20 milliamps or less on a modern car some cars up to 40 50 or 60 milliamps pretty easily if they have a lot of computers and things um, this one's all the way down to two milliamps but what i want to do is show you what would happen let's say you had a dome light that was stuck on so or you had a door pin switch that wasn't active so it was keeping the dome, dome light stuck on i'm going to open a door up and i want to show you what happens to the meter here so we've gone up now to 348 milliamps which is pretty close to half an amp of draw now this is enough if this dome light was stuck on all night when you come out in the morning your car is probably going to be dead 350 milliamps is way excessive way more than uh, the battery can handle you know for 12 or 14 hours at a time so um, right now we want to find the source of this we'd have to go through all the fuses there's a few different methods to check this and i'm actually going to create a video for you um, how to how to determine where your pat parasitic draw is so right now we've determined we have one we've got 350 milliamps worth the question is well, how do we find it well we got to systematically go to each circuit and either remove a fuse or measure the voltage across the fuse and convert that for the size of the fuse or there's actually some cool tools they make now which i want to show you as well in the future here um, where we don't even have to do that we can just check the outside of the fuse like we were testing a fuse and measure the current that's flowing across the fuse so that's really nice in modern days now because um, a lot of these cars take sometimes hours even to go to sleep and once we pull the fuse out, we've waken everything back up again. We've got to start the process over. So the method of pulling fuses systematically doesn't really work anymore. 